hello and welcome. The thing about bread is it just tastes so delicious when it first comes out of the oven. On Saturday, my husband had his weeblos come over and I created this recipe for the weeblos. And they loved it and some of the parents asked for the recipe so I'm going to share the recipe with you. It's a really fun activity to do with boys because you can have the, the dough already set up. Four and a half cups of warm water, half a cup of oil, and this is just corn oil, but you could use probably any oil, half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of sugar, um, two tablespoons of potato flakes, it's like the starch that the potatoes give to it, a heaping tablespoon of salt. Probably four teaspoons, but this is just a quicker way to measure it. And heap a teaspoon, tablespoon of yeast. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. And then what I did for the boys was I didn't add all the flour in. So it calls for 12 cups of flour, but I just added 10 cups. And then I had them do a little bit of kneading afterwards. So they could kind of get that... Um, experience of how to knead bread dough, which is important. So what you could do is about an hour before they come, get this all mixed up, let it go through the first rice. Or if we have a longer activity, like my husband was doing some like makeup work with them, some um, like whatever it is they earn. They're, um, actually, I don't really know because he does it all. But um, anyways, so get this going about an hour before they come and you let it um, knead for about five minutes. And then you're going to, um, so you're going to knead it for about five minutes and then let it get all nice and beautiful like this. And you can put a damp cloth over it and let it rise for an hour. And then for the boys, give them a nice pile of dough. And this is kind of like a softer dough, but it still needs a little more flour in it. And just let them have fun. We had them make snakes, some of them made rocks, some of them made a rock snowman. They can do whatever they want, but if you show them how to knead, fold the dough in half, push it with the palms of your hand, turn it a quarter turn, and push it again. That's kind of a nice experience. And if you don't have a mixer, this is how you would make all your bread dough. This is how my mom made her bread dough. Then it's easy just to divide it into little balls for them and give them their own little spot, and they can be very creative. And, of course, today my creations are a little more feminine than what theirs are, but equally delicious. So, what I had them do, some of them did snakes, some of them did snakes with a little bump in it like it had eaten like a mouse. Because, you know, they're boys. And then just put it on your, your cookie sheet, take a little butter, brush it on little garlic salt and then let it rise for another half an hour and then bake it 375 for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and brown and oh they are going to love their breadsticks here i'm going to grab this one 